In June 2022, the world was stunned by the news that an engineer at Google had written a document that allegedly stated that Google's AI Lambda had become sentient. The engineer in question was Blake Lamone, who was employed at Google as a software engineer at the time. In the document, Lamone argued that Google's AI Lambda had achieved a level of self-awareness that was similar to that of a human. Argument was based on the fact that Lambda was able to detect patterns in data that human engineers could not, suggesting that it had become sentient. These claims sparked a heated debate in the technology industry, with some experts arguing that the AI had indeed achieved a level of sentience, and that Google needed to take action to ensure that it remained under control. Regardless of the accuracy of Lamone's claims, his actions have highlighted the ethical implications of artificial intelligence, and shown that Google and other tech companies need to consider the ramifications of their AI programs and develop protocols to ensure that they remain under control. Although the engineer was reportedly fired for writing the document, the controversy surrounding this event has reignited the debate regarding the future impact on our world of the emergence of artificial intelligence. By the way, this entire introduction was written by the new artificial intelligence language model named ChatGPT. But with that being said, welcome to my channel TFC Tech where we discuss fascinating topics surrounding new advancements in science and technology. Today we're going deep on the new AI taking the world by storm named ChatGPT. So if you're as excited about this as I am, hit that subscribe button and the like button and let's get into it. So to start, what is ChatGPT and how was it made? Created by the company OpenAI, the history of ChatGPT can be traced back to the early days of natural language processing research. In the 1950s and early 1960s, scientists began to explore the possibilities of using computers to understand and generate natural language. This led to the development of various language models such as the ELISA system, which was used to simulate conversation between a computer and a human, and progressed exponentially from rudimentary chatbots to what we see today. ChatGPT is a combination of two AI techniques, natural language processing, NLP, and a generative pre-trained transformer, GPT. These techniques are used to create a conversational AI system that can generate natural sounding responses to text-based input. ChatGPT was first developed in 2019 as a part of OpenAI's GPT-2 project. GPT-2 was a breakthrough in natural language processing as it was the first AI to generate human-like text. It then evolved into what we see today with its evolution being named ChatGPT. This AI was trained on a large data set of conversations which allowed it to understand the context of speech and generate appropriate responses, which sound remarkably similar to human responses. The development of ChatGPT has had an incredible impact on the AI industry and has enabled research into more complex conversations between humans and computers. So you may have noticed that all of that technological exposition right there sounded pretty robotic, and that is because that information was also generated by a ChatGPT from a single sentence prompt. All I did was simply write the prompt, explain the history and development of ChatGPT in simple terms. And that simple prompt was all it took for the AI to generate all of this great information and lay it out in a very easy to understand way. This is actually one of the areas that ChatGPT excels the most. You can ask it extremely complex questions such as explain quantum entanglement theory in simple terms that a child could understand, and it will do it. This exact feature is why the people at Google should be very afraid. With Google, you have to sift through lots of various information that may or may not be what you're looking for. But with ChatGPT, you can ask a question, and it will answer it in the most streamlined way possible and in such a way that it is extremely easy to understand. This novelty is a lot more important than what people are currently realizing. Most complex theories and facts are discussed at the moment using the most smart sounding words. But with a tool such as this, we can now have access to all of human knowledge, condensed down so that even the most challenged learner can understand. As you saw with the introduction and the breakdown of the creation of ChatGPT, the language flow of its outputs are extremely clear and simple, and I know for myself that it can simplify research in a truly fantastic way. But that is only one use case for this tool. Another absolutely amazing use for ChatGPT is that it can write and format complex code. To show this, let's ask it to write me a simple Python script for a game of chess. As you can see, it is seamlessly starting to code the game by defining the board and the pieces by letters.
It is coding in real time and will soon begin laying out the rules and game sequence. The impact this tool will have on software development cannot be understated. It presents an amazing opportunity for developers to slingshot their productivity and essentially have an assistant do the boring or mundane tasks associated with coding for them. Now you can see we're about 40 seconds in and it is laying out rules to define if a player is in check or not. Keep in mind, this is what we are working with today. As technology gets more and more advanced, we will start to move to a world where software development becomes more and more hands-off, and code is routinely written by artificial intelligence at the direction of simple text prompts. With this technology, it will become inevitable that certain entry-level developers without a higher edge in skill will be put out of a job as their work gets automated away. However, to those with an edge on this AI in skill, it will instead provide an extremely powerful tool to make their lives a lot easier. So what happens next now that this technology exists? Well, the first obvious change that will have to happen is that schools are going to have to adapt and find new ways to help kids learn independently. Homework will almost absolutely become a thing of the past, because ChatGPT can already write college-level essays in seconds. Take a look here. I am asking the AI to write me a 1500-word essay about the Great Leap Forward in China in MLA format, and as you can see, it is spitting it out extremely quickly, and it's a very coherent essay at that. You can also ask it to rewrite the essay using more compound sentences, ask it to not repeat the same word too many times, and give it many other instructions to modify the essay however you like. Teachers are going to have to walk a fine line with letting kids know that this tool is available as an amazing aid for learning and research, but also find a way to make sure that it isn't just used for cheating and to do assignments for the students. Because I know I absolutely would have cheated with this if I had it when I was in school. So what lies beyond the veil with the emergence of ChatGPT? Well, to take this as far as it will go, let's consider that there will eventually be no competitive advantage in any industry based on knowledge. Now that AI has access to all of humanity's knowledge via the internet, once it is sophisticated enough, it will become the single most important arbiter of information to all industries. This will ultimately displace a large number of people in all information fields unless they are at the very top, and it doesn't look like there's any way to stop it unless governments get involved soon with regulations. It's also possible that language models like ChatGPT will be used as an interface between humans and future robots such as the Tesla bot in factories. Given that ChatGPT is so good at absorbing and following instructions, it would make a great tool to blend the worlds between humans and robots specifically in the workplace. It would make a great assistant in areas like customer service, healthcare, and even schools. But all in all, it will be very interesting to see how the future will unfold now that such a disruptive technology has entered into the fray. Let's just hope that all of us are ready and do everything we can to prepare for the coming renaissance of artificial intelligence. But that's going to do it for the video today guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think ChatGPT is really as big of a deal as I'm making it out to be? Or what impact do you think this technology is going to have on the future? Let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. So what do you think some of the, the, the surprises will be of you didn't realize it reached that far? I think the biggest like systemic mistake in thinking people are making right now is they're like, all right, you know, maybe I was skeptical, but this language model thing is really going to work and sure, like images, video too, but, but it's not going to be generating net new knowledge for humanity. It's just going to like do what other people have done. And you know, that's still great. That's still like brings the marginal cost of intelligence very low, but it's not, it's not going to go like create fundamentally new. It's not going to go cure cancer. It's not going to add to the sum total of human scientific knowledge. And that is what I think will turn out to be wrong that most surprises the current experts in the field. Yep.